I've used both Base44 and Bolt.new as a developer trying to ship fast, and the difference between them is night and day depending on what you're building. Bolt.new is like having a junior dev who listens well and builds UI with you in real time. It's conversational, fast, and lets you throw vague prompts like, build me a job board with login, and it delivers working React code with routing, form handlers, and clean UI. I used it to crank out a blog editor with Markdown Preview in about 10 minutes, no config, no build tools. What makes Bolt interesting is the way it handles iterations. You can say change the knob bar to fixed, add dark mode, or generate dummy posts, and it gets it right most of the time. It's not just a code generation tool, it feels like a workflow. Even better, the free tier gives you 1 million tokens per month, and it works on private projects too. That's rare. If you upgrade, $20 per month gets you even more power, and there are 50, 100, and $200 tiers if you're hammering it daily. The downside? There's no built-in backend. No auth, no database, no analytics. It's front-end focused. If you want user data or persistent storage, you'll be wiring up Supabase, Firebase, or something custom. Great for front-end heavy MVPs, but not ideal if your app lives in the backend. That's where Base44 steps in. It's like Retool, Firebase, and Vercel rolled into one with a full backend layer ready to go. You can define data models, add user auth, send transactional emails, and track usage without leaving the platform. When I built a lightweight customer portal, I didn't have to touch third-party services. It was just define schema, wire auth, build UI, deploy. What surprised me is how much is included for free. You get 25 AI-driven interactions per month and 500 integration credits without paying a cent. Once you start scaling, $20 per month gets you 100 messages and 2,000 credits. The higher tiers are $50 Builder, $100 Pro, and $200 Elite, which gives you 1,200 messages and 50,000 integration credits. The message count is your real limiter. It's not tokens like Bolt.new, so you'll burn through them faster if you're iterating heavily. Base44 feels more like a platform than a tool. It's structured. It wants you to build production-ready apps with schema-first design and integrated services. The trade-off is that it's not as fluid. You won't prototype five ideas in an afternoon like you can in Bolt.new. It's better suited to when you've committed to an app idea and want to ship a real product with users, auth, and analytics baked in. If you're a dev who likes moving fast, controlling your code, and skipping boilerplate, Bolt.new is your friend. It doesn't lock you into a platform, and it spits out React Next code that you can take anywhere. If you're okay building your own backend or bolting on Firebase, it's unbeatable for prototyping. On the other hand, if you're tired of stitching services together and just want a full-stack app with working auth and data flow, Base44 saves you hours. For me, Bolt.new is how I think through ideas. Base44 is where I ship the ones worth keeping. If you're a solo dev trying to launch fast without hiring backend help, this combo is the sweet spot. Bolt.new for speed. Base44 for structure. Use both, and you'll go from idea to product faster than ever.